All right, let's do this. Seeking in the brain. Wake up, Date. Date's dream world. In this, in this uh, strange and surreal dream, trust the light to wake up, Date. Insomnium means insomnium. <laughs> uh, insomnia. <laughs> You explore a dream to discover the subject's hidden memories. Unlocking the mental locks will allow you to travel deeper into the dream. Unlocking all of them will reveal important information. A guide to unlocking the mental locks is displayed in the upper left corner. First, move Iba closer to the door and, and investigate. Uh, yeah, apparently in this game state I can control the character. A door locked with a padlock. Options when investigating things, you can choose from a number of options to give I I've instructions. For now, have I've investigate the door. Okay. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Uh, friggin' silent. Also, <laughs> silent hill four hmm. chains on it. Can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. Why the skeleton? My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. But I have amnesia. His memory is probably blocked. I tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. <laughs> Objects to investigate. In the Somnium world, you are able to investigate objects that have floating names. A new object has appeared. Move Iba, Iba over to it and investigate. The skeleton. You investigate the skeleton. Oh, just these things over here. Wither iris. A winter iris. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Or women that are named after the flower? No. Oh. Hmm. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I was about to cast the same thing. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Oh, okay. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Never. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, oh. <laughs> Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? That, that face. You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. You can check your progress on the left side of the screen. Your actions just now advanced your progress. Reach the end, of, uh, reach the end to clear the software. Okay. Switch. A switch. The thorns are gone. Oh, uh, okay. Now I can activate the switch. I accidentally progressed without doing other things too. Isn't this 
is rewarding, Date. Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. Unlock the turn on the light mental lock. But there's another mental lock in the Somni. Unlock the next mental lock uh, using the guide. Open the door, I believe. You can always check the tutorial by going to Menu, File, Appendix. Okay. Basket. A basket. I cannot see inside it. And pull it out. Wear a basket. Leave it to me. It is dark. I cannot see anything. I see a dumb AI and a skeleton. What? <laughs> the heck was that? <laughs> a basket. Uh, search. A model of a UFO. A stuffed chupacabra and a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. But he hates Anyone ghosts. Could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Alright, fuck it. Oh, I wanted to tackle it too. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Turn off it. But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory, but this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness. But oftentimes, they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. That was kind of dirty. Shut up. A lamp. Uh, lift up. must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I or interpret a tree. it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. I'm sleeping right now. It looks like a rose. Or kick it. <laughs> yeah, so apparently the You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? Alright, skeleton. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Left eye again. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead. They should. A skeleton. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Will there be some kind of empathic connection between this thing and something else? Hi! I have a look. The wall. Uh, the door's gone. How am I supposed to open it? Oh. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? 
Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. But never mind. Who is he? Are you sure There's you don't ghost. know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. I was just like talking. Hmm, a hidden item? Insomnia? There's always one somewhere. Hmm. No more. I can't eat anymore. I'm stuffed. <laughs> but. Gun. A gun came out of the skull? It's a key gun? Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. What? Who did you hear that from? A gun. It won't go off? That should be fine. Bang! Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. There's the door. Looks like it would be progression. Don't see anything else. Use gun on door. A door locked with a padlock. Leave it to me. There are two kinds of people in the world. Those who open doors... Just pull the trigger. You got lucky. A door locked with a padlock. A gun keyhole. Do you think something this size would fit? It's got a key on the end of it. It might fit if you work it in. Try just the tip. I suppose... gun was the key. Well, well, well. It seems I was key in helping this escape. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. I'll open it. Okay. Oh. It's a gun shaped key. Day two, you say? Psych I? <laughs> Police headquarters, Saturday, nine twenty-one a.m. Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. Do you think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. Cool. I like a big catch on A police officer mannequin. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. 
this was the moment I started to worry about boss's mental health. Happy birthday. A while ago though. Darks. Electronic dark machine. Why do you have this? So if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. Christmas tree. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? Or closer to being proved to keep it up because it's like November or something, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. A oh, police poster. A plaster figure. A stationary bike for indoor training. It's a lifesaver. Boy band. A boy band poster? <sighs> yep. They're all my husbands. Uh huh. Also single, by the way. Just has bandos. No word. Skis. Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? Triangular really. Map. Nah. Map on the wall. Oh, like back door curtain? Another poster. Right. That's my grandpa's death mask. What? The guy had a huge face. That's what? Mysterious mask is displayed on the wall. Pumpkin. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? <laughs> Sorry, it was funnier in my head. Fishing flag. Uh, that was, you know, cold. Volleyball. A soccer mm. ball. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. So the boss's old love interest must have been an athlete. Interesting. Bags. Bags hanging on the rack. So the bags are masks. Like for a cost party. Chills. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many phases, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one. The smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. Yeah, I just noticed the uh, green text is anything you haven't seen yet. Like it's something you have covered. I was on the shelf before, but then these shelves are white. Desk. Boss's desk. There are stickers all over the front. A computer on her desk. But that has a monitor built in. Bookshelf. It's full of files and bindries, but I don't know what. It's got books, manga, movies, games, all sorts of stuff. What does she do here? Let's have a restaurant door curtain.
Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. Is reading the spatial dimensions and imperial, but then white and gray. Mm. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. RC car. All right, boss. What? Sitting on the desk casually. That's the case six years ago. Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been in a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? I shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. Oh, if there's a copycat of a past case, then they're likely going to be doing things to imitate it. So it's worth knowing. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. I see you still haven't cleaned up. This place up. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. What was the status of the, of the investigation? Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years. Six years? That seems... Especially so similar. Uh... I've been having flashbacks recently, fragments of my past. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, so, nothing to report then. Got it. About music, music here. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? Are there cameras? And looking at her and I'm just looking for a... What's that? Why am I there? You're like her legal guardian then. No. She just lives with me. Oh, just... Playing from memory or something. The girl we found married. She's 12 years old in sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we can't. We aren't blood related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Are there any leads at all? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> we did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. What about Renju Okira? Have you picked up Renju yet? 
He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Renji is Shoko's ex, uh, ex husband and Mizuku's father. Not to mention an old friend of mine. I wonder what Renji was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. About the pick. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Okay, so here you go. I wouldn't tell you even if my life depended on it. Even if you took me to the finest club in Kabukicho and showered me in Dong Pi. My lips are sealed. But why, boss? It's top secret. Classified. It was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. Give it a rest, Date. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. How is that impossible? This isn't harassment yeah. or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. Th then you're harassing me. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. I can detect your thoughts, Renata. Thank you for your input, Iva. Just. Promise me you'll let this go, okay? It's a delicate issue, even more delicate than my patience. So drop it. That's an order. Understood? As long as there's an option, I'll keep pressing it. I'm definitely not gonna get anything else out of it. She can be surprisingly stubborn sometimes. I can be stubborn too. <laughs> Is there any other information? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database, although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname. Five years ago, through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nidami. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Yeah, I guess. Since you don't have a cell phone. I have an eyeball. I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. Did you ever identify who called it in? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. You should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is a payphone. It is a payphone. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. How many payphones are there these days? So I'm kind of aware that there's still a lot of payphones and Japanese subways and such.
Hello. No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. The boss knows me by now. Well, still. It's kind of gross, though. <laughs> Who are you? Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. You know, you're kind of cute. <laughs> Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. Kind of gross. Why did it come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You need to exercise? You're joking, right? So the five, five years since we first met, one day I got called into the control room computer, the engineer showed it to me. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. I've just been living in my head ever since. She gathers info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. While she is in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. It lets us talk without actually speaking. Go back inside. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> Why'd you come out? Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? But... Why isn't it possible for her to communicate while still in my eye socket? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? Who reported the crime? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. He's 24? I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Yep. You're now able to visit a new destination. Map will appear in... When you're able to visit a new destination, map will appear in the bottom of the Open up the map, pick the destination. You can always check the tutorial by going to menu and file appendix. Alright, go to Matsushita Diner. 